It's a chill, chilly, chilly, chilly morning. It's a chilly morning here in Gainesville, Georgia, and we just loaded up a pallet of Q cells. Nice to have a tractor. We got the mobile home feeder. That's two, two, four, six. That's what we'll be feeding out to the array. Got the Q cells. Got the end phase. Hope she'll ride. She feels like she will. I don't want to lose my end phase. And we are ready to go, folks. Antonio just got a lot of snacks. We call the uh, we call this uh, Ford Transit T250 High Roof the White Whale, and she pulls just fine. I mean, it's it's it really pulls well I and mean, does good for what I'm doing. The Q cells are looking good, and then they got the mobile home feeder. We gotta get out of here. Way too much going on at Quick Trip this morning. So here we are at our 10K WS Sinclair build, and the first thing we're gonna do is put the 15, girders on and as muddy as can be we're going to build it flat first put all the rails up and then once all the rails are up we will tilt it into a 30 degree angle and put the panels on you need a 15 16 socket a three quarter socket and a half inch socket to put this thing together once you get all your struts or your girders once you get all these up in a flat position you're going to start bolting on your uh, purlins, your rails. This is step two. So here we are, folks. We've got all our rack pretty much built at this point. And what we're doing is building it flat so that we're not trying to run on ladders for this portion. And then once we get it all square, we're going to bottom bolt out it's on the top bolt. You see that or not? And you see that YouTube? We got us some QCL 335. We're hanging panels in 30 mile an hour winds. Like if you got a kite, holding on to a kite, and we're just slapping these things together. And she's looking good. Straight as an arrow, not a single inch off. Ain't that right, boss? You want me to say the truth on live? She looks straight as can be. <laughs> Just got done with a nice pull of some 2246 mow home feeder. Successful little 130 some odd feet. I'm fighting over this pool now. Here we go. Lander. In phase, baby. Now this disconnect does not have a vision for a neutral. So you end up trying to figure out what to do with your neutrals. I found something really easy to do. Just use an insulated terminal block. This one's made by Burndy. A lot of time they're called Polaris lugs, but that'll do just fine for what I want to do with a big wire. It's better than a wire nut. It's the Enphase IQ Combiner 3 with an integrated Envoy, and uh, this helps you get down a lot quicker. So this is an AC Combiner panel. So here we are. <laughs> I think that's funny, don't you? The wind is just a blowing. This is our in phase, <laughs> in phase IQ combiner. And then uh, we're actually using the in phase Q cable. You can see that Q cable. Would you like to show these guys some of the Q connectors? These are cute connectors. This is the female connector that we're going to crimp on connectors here. And then Abraham's, Abraham's working on the male. The male. So you can just make jumpers and stuff out of the stuff. It's basically tray cable and the in phase is proprietary stuff. Connectors, high dollar. But but it's done. Better than PVC boss? Yes. You have to admit it. You yeah. won't just, you just just What I can't get over is just how busy it gets underneath one of these arrays, but I guess it's fine. It's all AC and if anything gets cut or anything like that, it's going to turn off immediately. So it's got rapid shutdown, but just gets a little busy. This is wire management as best as you can do it. We got right angle clips going. We got everything looking really good. Here's the finished product of the solar array. It's uh, 30, 335 watt panels, 
So a little bit over 10 kW on the DC side. Sorry, I'm tripping around, guys. It's kind of muddy. Slightly over 10 kW using in phase inverters. And we're feeding back to the house. You can see our disconnect right there. And then you're tying into the whole house meter base load center of the electrical panel, which would be right there. There's the disconnect.